I got a package. Um, and this is a package I wanted to do an unboxing of. Um, I don't think I'm going to do the unboxing like this, like I did with the Fitzgerald Taylor, because there's small bits in this. But I'll open it up here. So I'm just sitting here with you and enjoying my homemade frappuccino. Uh, I love my magic bullet. Um, I have an espresso machine. I think I've said that before. Anyway, um, so what's inside? It is, and this is all Danny, Pop Fizz Paper's fault. So Danny, you're an enabler. It's the freckled fawn kit. Okay, I'm going to flip you around in a second and show you um, a deeper insides of this. But I wanted to talk a bit why I got this. First of all, um, Danny, it, for my birthday or in a random uh, act of kindness, sent me one of the Freckle Fawn pouches. Um, and I watch her Freckle Fawn unboxings every month. And I really enjoy them. And I love how much I can fit in this um, and in this little pouch. If you look down in, I'll post a link down in the description box of my um tra traveling art supplies. You can see how much these fit. They look small, but they bulk up and they hold quite a bit. So um, I had watched her and watched her and watched her do all the unboxings and um, I was getting jealous. So yeah. I'm going to flip you around and stop yakety yakking and show you what's inside. Okay, so this is the um, freckled fawn pouch. Um, but so it just looks like that on the front and this on the back. It's got a little sticker here that I think easily peels off. Yep, that really easily pe peels right off. Um, I probably could have gotten it all in one go, except for I was doing it one-handed and being a bit lazy, but there's no sticky residue left behind, which is nice. Um, first, I will... It's got... I'm going to move the contents over here so I can show them to you one at a time. Um, one of the things that I really like about this is it's this beautiful wood print, but it's a teal. Um, a turquoisey teal, I'd say. Somewhere in between... It's not quite turquoise, not quite teal. That's the first thing, obviously, is the pouch. And since it's already sneaking in here, um, there's these little, oh, look at these. These are little um, acrylic or plastic envelopes. So you've got one in each color. And I'm such a weirdo. I think these would make really cute earrings, like kind of dangly earrings, something like that. I don't know. But yeah, so it's little plastics um, envelopes. Oh, a little thing that says, we're so excited to have you as a subscriber. Let's be friends. XOXO Doe. So I think that I got this. I don't think this is part of the October kit. I think this is because I'm a new subscriber because um, of how it says. Maybe it is an Oct part of the October kit. I'd have to go back and rewatch the other ones. But it's really cute. So it's just a little piece of ephemera on a little kind of glue dot there so it's not an actual button so that's really neat next I have um, these paper clips they they feel heavy they look like metal I don't have a lot of cute sticky out paper clips like this I just I see them and I think about buying them and I and I don't so yeah they're they're stuck um, yeah so they're they're made of metal and they're kind of yeah, they're really suit, uh, stuck in there, which is quite nice. They're kind of clamped in around this paper clip. Um, and they're quite nice and sturdy. I'd, I'd say that's um, metal with some enamel over top of it. Those are I think those are going to be really neat to use in my journaling. especially Or even in my planner. Um, next is this gorgeous washi. If I can get it open. Um... I need more washi. And this is a rose gold, it looks like. And I don't have any kind of rose gold. I'm not the biggest gold fan or rose gold fan. But there you go. That is, let me see if I can find something to stick it over. Just, it is opaque. 
you know, you can kind of see a little bit through that, but it is opaque and not transparent. Um, that's going to be um, fun for, um, for well, all kinds of things. And if you've seen my journaling, you know that I often will put... <coughs> You, you'll If you've seen my journaling, you'll know that I often put a banner of washi up at the top or at the bottom. Next are some, what look like some, I think these are pronounced thickers. So they're like thick stickers. Um, and they're just little words and things. I'm trying to get into using dimensional things in my journaling. Um, it's difficult because when you use dimensional things, it's hard to write on the next page. Yeah, so they're little foam thickers. And they say things like fun, like, yes, explore, this, love, journey, snug, bummer, life, hooray, look, dream. Did I just say bummer, right? Yep. So there's those. Um, next are some felt stickers. Um, I'm wondering how felty these are. That sounds funny. I mean, I wonder if they're really soft or they look like they've been painted, so they might not be as soft as felt stickers normally are. Um, yeah, they're a bit, they remind me of the really, really cheap craft felt that you can get. Um, a bit plasticky, not really... I don't know, I have a bit of a texture thing, and so they kind of, especially with that kind of felt, it kind of sets me my teeth on edge a little bit. Um, but I think they'd still be cute um, in like a layout or something. Um, next is just a piece of wood chip, um, like wood veneer. Um, I'm not going to take it out because it's exactly how you see it, and I don't want to break it. Um, and there's just one of those. Um, I suppose that's really for Project Life or something like that. Um, uh, next are some enamel dots. As I said, I because I journal a lot, and so you have to be able to use the reverse page. I don't use a lot of dimensional stuff, but I'm looking at trying to um, and trying to accommodate it. So what I'm thinking of getting is one of those hard plastic sheets that you put under things and adding and or adding dimensional things after I've already done a couple pages back. So going back and adding to the journal pages, which is a new concept also for me. Um, but those look, I really like those colors. Um, that was one of the things that when I saw this kit with Danny is I really liked the colors. Um, and then we've got some um, puffy stickers here, um, the gold puffy hearts. Um, Yet again, it, it comes to that dimensional thing. Um, and I know I knew that there was a lot of dimensional stuff. Um, I just also thought it was all really pretty. Um, so I'll have to see how I use these and what I can use these for. Um, I guess I could always decorate like Project Life cards and, and tip them in. And then that way, if you have a tip in, I like to tip them in on the edges so that if it's bulky for writing on or doing other things with on, on the reverse page, I can tip the page out if that makes any sense and the final thing I have here are these which I've seen these were the things that really interested me um, when Danny was showing off her kit and they are um, this says lovely embellishments but they're like little um, they're little vellum things that say say little things um, and I really thought these were really quite nice um, is that two of them stuck? That is two of them stuck together. So they're, they're clear and, and I think, um, a combination of, so there's two, I got two of each. So I know Danny was wondering whether two, her getting two was a mistake. It looks like it's not, you're supposed to get two or everyone got two. Um, and so that's, that's quite that they are. And, um, Allie Brown has been using some transparent things in her journal and I really like the look of those and I just like the layering abilities and I, I like what these all say. Um, so I'm really looking forward to adding those to my journal. So you should probably definitely see these shortly. Um, and that is everything in my kit. So to recap, um, this is the Freckle Fawn kit. It came in this bag and it came with white word thickers, 
colorful um, felt leaves. I almost call those feathers, they're not. Um, a wood, ch this wood chip with star design. Enamel dots. Paper clips with um, metal paper clips with words on them. Gold puffy stickers. Rose gold polka dot washi. Enamel, not enamel, those are acrylic envelopes. Acetate circle journaling spot things. And a little badge. So that is everything that came in the Freckled Fawn um, October kit. My thoughts are it cost $33.99 USD, which translates to roughly 51 and some change. I think 51.24 New Zealand dollars. Um, it, it was shipped on the 28th of October, and today is the 4th of November, which means it took seven days to get from Utah to New Zealand. I find that that's actually quite speedy. Um, I'm gonna see. I, I'm. I'm wondering how long the December kit's gonna take because post just goes to a crawl um, in December because of of the um, that Christian holiday, you know the one uh, Christmas. I don't know how I forgot Christmas. Um, my overall thoughts are that while it is expensive, it's an expensive kit. I mean, all all the kit, all all the subscription boxes of stationary goods that I found are quite expensive. Coco Daisy, all of them. Um, I don't know about other places, but this is all stuff that's quite expensive though in New Zealand. I don't think unless I shopped from eBay and then the postage would probably still push it up over 50. I don't think I could get all of this stuff for $50 in New Zealand. Um, so that impresses me. Um, uh, it's also all unique. It's not stuff I can find in the shops here because it's all made by Freckle Fawn. Um, I can't tell you what the quality is like. Um, the few things that I have seen, the washi seemed like a really good quality. It was thick. It was a bit on the, um, what I kind of think of as the cheaper side of, of texture. It's a bit shiny on top, um, but that might just be, I don't have a lot of um washi that is foiled so that just might be a foiled washi thing now that i think about it all my foiled washies are like that but also within saying that all my foiled washies are cheap ones from ebay so still doesn't really um doesn't really help my opinion um i don't know whether um i guess i'd have to see their other washies to see how they compare to my washi um i i think that there's I don't know if this is something that I would, I, I'm going to subscribe to for a very long time. In fact, I think um, I might do about three subscriptions and then only dip back in when I see a really nice kit from Danny. Um, not because it's a bad set. I want to be clear. I think it's a really great kit. And if you are a scrapbooker or a memory keeper, um, but with things I don't use, or if you like to use this kind of stuff in your di in your planner, then it's a great kit. I think for me, I was wanting to get things for journaling. Um, and there's a lot of challenging items in here for journaling. There's probably off the top of my head, I can see three things that I'd be able to easily use in my journal, which um, only two of those would be things actually going in a permanent journaling page, which is the washi and the acetate circles. Um, the paper clips would also be really fun to use in a journal, um, but they're not something I think I'd be moving those from page to page. They're not something that would stay. So they wouldn't be too much um, of an inconvenience. I think I will use all of these, even if I just use the things in 
pocket letters. That's the other thing is I could use this stuff in pocket letters. Um, the two things that I'm, I'm least likely to use probably are the wood veneer. It's, it's, it's big project life size and I don't do project life and I don't, that's, I mean, just, just to compare really quickly, um, I said I wasn't going to take this out and now I'm taking it out. Um, just to compare, the thing that I would have another issue with is I do most of my journaling in my Midori and that is most of a Midori page. And now that I say that and I put this in front of a Midori, on a Midori insert, it would make a really cute kind of cover embellishment. So maybe I'm wrong. Um, I'm, I haven't actually used many wood veneers, so I'll be interested to see how this, this works. Um, so the wood veneer is probably one thing that I am unlikely to use. Um, it kind of bothers me that it's wonky, but I think that it's supposed to be kind of wonky and cute. Just my Virgo thing. I'd say besides the wood veneer, the um, gold puffy hearts are probably going to go to um, either going to pocket letters or swapped. Um, I think I've talked about this before. I'm not really a gold person. I'm more of a silver person and I don't really use puffy stickers. Um, and this isn't a complaint about the the box. I mean, I, I knew that the gold puffy stickers were in there when I ordered this, this kit. Um, so it's just, you know, yeah, it's how it is. It's how it is. There's 38 of them. So I, I can, I'll probably keep a few and pass some on. Um, one of the things I like, I don't know if you can see it, is that the, the centers of the knots of the wood are little heart shapes. So you can see one right there. Are there little heart shapes? And I thought, I think that's, I thought that was cute. Um, definitely love the pouch. I mean, here's the thing with this kit is even if I don't use 50% of the stuff, the pouch and the other 50% of the stuff for New Zealand prices is, I think, fair enough. A pouch of this size and general quality, um, well, a pouch of this size I've never seen. It's one of the things I love about the Freckle Funk. It's a really nice size pouch. Um, they're really quite durable. I would say the pouch alone in New Zealand would be 10 to $25. So, I mean, add on the washi, which in New Zealand, that kind of washi in New Zealand is anywhere from 5 to $10. Um, the paper clips are at least $15 in New Zealand. The, the acetate circles are another, so I'd say $10 in New Zealand. Um, the puffy stickers are going to be five dollars, you know, so I mean That's why I'm not too upset if I don't use everything because it's still for me a really good deal and something really unique I feel special <laughs> um, Yeah I guess um, I will have an update when I probably next week or the week after when I get the November kit. Um, my November kit has yet to ship. So I um, don't know when I'm going to get that. Hopefully I'll ship out this week and I will get it sometime next week. Everyone have a nice day. Um, thank you for watching my um, unboxing slash reveal slash review of the Freckled Fong kit. Um, please like, comment, subscribe down below, and I will see you later.